Hey, yo, what's up, my little coders? Let's solve today the lead code question 475, which is called heaters. Basically, given, a ha given an array which represents all the houses and also an array which represents all the heaters, we need to find the minimum radius of heaters so that all the houses could be covered by those heaters and they will be warmed. Let me show you some drawings to explain you better. Okay, my little coders, let's check this image to, to get a better idea of what we need to solve and how we're going to solve it. Imagine that our input array of houses is equal to this array. There is house number one, house number two, three, five, nineteen. And the input array of heaters is equal to the following array, heater two, eight, and twenty-four. What we want to do is the following. Uh, listen carefully. We want to iterate through all the houses, house by house, and uh, check the heaters on the left side from the current house and the heater on the right side from the current house, and update the radius, uh, update the minimum radius which we want to have in order to make all the houses to be warm. Okay, we are starting from the house number one. There are no heaters on the left side from this house. However, there is the heater on the right side. And uh, the radius right now should be equal to 1. Because from 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So the current radius to warm the first house should be equal to 1. At least to 1. Okay, we are going to the next house. There is the heater in the same place as the second house itself. Um, so the distance is equal to zero for now. However, there's also one more heater on the right side and the distance from this house to this heater is equal to six. So the minimal distance is zero because there's a heater at the same place. So the current distance is zero. However, zero is not greater than the current radius. So we want to keep one as it is because it's greater than zero. So to warm all the houses, for now, radius should be at least equal to 1 because this house requires this heater and the distance from this heater to this house is equal to 1. Okay, we are going to the next house now. Here's the heater on the left side, the distance is equal to 1. And here's another heater here, and the distance is equal to 5. Uh, 1 is less than 5, so current, current radius to warm these three houses is equal to 1. Okay, now we go to the next house. And what we see here? We see here that uh, the distance to this heater from the house number 5 and the distance from the same house to this heater is equal to 3. That's why now we know that, okay, 1 is not, not anymore a current radius. The radius should be at least equal to 3 to warm the house 5 as well. We update the current radius. Now we're going to visit the next house. And now we see that from this house, uh, we have a heater on the left side here, and we have also another heater on the right side. The distance from this house to this heater is equal to 11. That's a huge number, right? And the distance from this house to, to this heater is equal to, uh, to 5. 24 minus 19 is equal to 5. So in order to warm this house as well, we need to update our current radius to be at least five and now we see that we don't have any houses anymore and we just want to update and we basically just want to return our radius which is equal to five because we found the radius uh, which we need to warm all the houses and yeah this radius is equal to five okay let's code it now okay dokie my little coders um so as you just have seen this was our, this was my example. And in this example, everything has been sorted. Everything is good. Same with the examples, which they show to us, everything is sorted. Everything is good. However, it's not always the case. Sometimes they give the input arrays, which are not sorted. Um, that's why to make sure our algorithm, uh, to make sure that it works, we want to sort the input arrays. So we sort the houses 
and we do the same with the heaters. Um, now let's declare some variables which we're going to use. Of course, we want to use the radius and we want to return it in the end. So let's declare it. Right now it's equal to zero. Now we want to declare variable i, which will help us to take the left and the right heater from the current house. And also we want to calculate the left and right distances as well. So we declare these two variables. Now let's iterate through all the houses which we have for in house. We take all the houses. Um, now let's update our I value um, if it's needed to be updated. While I is not out of bounds, so while I is less than heaters dot length minus one, and at the same time, um, while heaters I is less or equal than house. We increment our i value, so we move the pointers. Um, move the pointer. As you remember here, we start from house number one, so i is not out of bounds. However, um, heaters dot heaters i, which is equal to two, is not less or equal than house. So that's why we don't update i right now. However, when we will go to our next house. And uh, in this case, heaters i will be less or equal than house. We will update our i value. So I will point to this heater and we will be able to take the left and right heater uh, from the current house. I mean, kind of left. So if it's still equal, then we say that it's left heater. In reality, it's heater which is at the same time, but Let's just call it left. Um, I didn't think about a better name to be honest. Okay, let's calculate the left heater, basically left or or the same one. But let's still call it left. Um, so mass dot absolute volume. We want to calculate the distance from the current heater to the or from the current house to the left heater. So we do house minus and now we need a small if statement. Um, basically, of course, if we can do, of course, if i is greater than zero, then we want to do heaters i minus one, so take the proper left. However, if it's not the case and i is equal to zero, in this case, there is no heater on the left side, so we just take the first heater from the heaters array, from the heaters array. So heater, heater zero. Um, that's our left heater, kind of left heater. Um, now let's take the right one. So mass again, absolute value, and now we do heaters i minus house so that's the distance uh, so i represents kind of the right heater so we can do heaters i do minus house and we get the distance from the current heater or from the current house to the right heater now we want to update our radius um, so we want to take the maximum from, of course, we still want to check if we need to update actually our current radius. So we take radio, max of radius. And after that, we want to take the minimum uh, of left and right. And that's how we will update our radius if it's needed to be updated. Um, so current house, we consider left and right heater, their distances, and we take the minimum distance because we want to in the end return the minimum distance. So 
that's how we update everything basically. And once we have iterated through all the houses and we updated everything, in the end we can just simply return our radius. Um, it's the same thing about which I just talked in my example using the visualization. Let's see if it works. It doesn't work. Why it doesn't work? Oh, uh, I forgot the bracket. Okay, another typo. Oh, um, yep. Another typo. Mm. Okay, why it doesn't work actually? Oh, yep, another typo. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, now it worked, perfect. Let's submit. Perfect, guys. It was the lead code question, 475, hitters. I think it was a very interesting problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. And guys, please subscribe to this channel because a lot of very nice videos are going to come soon. See you guys.